Salut, salut, c'est encore moi. Welcome back to the channel. This is Naily. How are you guys doing? Welcome if you're a newbie and if you're OG. How are you doing, my love? Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and thank you so much for watching the video. I appreciate you guys. So today's video will be a little lengthy. Please forgive me, but that's my first acrylic application in a while. If you know, you know. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, we are going with the Halloween set still. <laughs> Don't forget, I'm reproducing last year set that cat face this here i just i'm just going to do one hand using the macart pro acrylic don't forget i'm a brand ambassador so you can use my code on the website and the application and get 15 percent off it's nailing nailed it or you can have the other code also which is queen nailing yes <laughs> everything will be put in you can see the links is in the description box anyways so yeah what i was doing today was pretty simple i prepped my nails and i was choosing this um length <laughs> they are very long the length is there is giving lengthy but anyways yeah you can use them as full cover or you can just use them but it, it is half cover tips actually but i use them as full cover because my nail my nail bed is so short you know well of course i prepped my nails off camera and yeah you already know it wasn't i mean off camera i did it off camera the lengthy part but <laughs> a little bit on the camera but yeah and then i start gluing my nails on with a bit of gel glue is a nail glue it is very easy i actually apply my i didn't apply this peel of base coat this time because i wanted to see how long it lasts it lasted longer but i had to take them off because you know when you have babies and <laughs> you can take care of them with them long long nails on but yeah that's all i did and um yeah i really liked it this set but i had to take them off and once i'm doing gluing on everything i go ahead and try to you know size them up and cut them i initially i just cut a little bit so i can keep them long but after <laughs> like off camera i had to do a little pose and change you know pull ups and food and feed them and wash them and everything like i was like you know what anyway so i had to cut them down a little bit so i can have you know a little bit more space to walk in and then also keep them a little long on my nails so i don't have to hurt my nail plate but after i finished gluing them on i want to help with my cuticle um bit and try to you know clean and make it flush as much as possible with my nail drill from Yafex and then I buff it up. Don't ask me why I like to buff up my nails like I told you. I'm just obsessed like that. <laughs> Anyways, so that's all I did then once I was done with that part we were ready to start the application. As you can see it's way shorter. I have this little liquid for the monomer. Um, it was sent to me by Glamorous KJI. If you know, you know. <laughs> Isis. And yeah that's that's all i do you have to usually apply this this it smell like cherry you have to usually apply it first inside of the dapping dish like two or three drops then pour the monomer but yeah you know <laughs> i had to work faster and with the kid it was a little complicated but that's what i did I'm going ahead and I'll be working with this brush. I don't know why, but I'm using my Architect brush. Uh, it's a 14, size 14. Usually I prefer working with a smaller brush and the 14 is for much longer application. And since these nails are pretty long, I went ahead and start to use that. But I could have used the Savulane one. It was a little bit smaller, but yeah, once I saw how messy this application was because the monomer and the, um, I mean, not the monomer, the acrylic is black. So I was like, I'm gonna just go ahead and use one brush. <laughs> but yeah, what I was trying to do was crimp the brush, you know, trying to make it a little bit uh, tighter on the, on the bristle spot because it's better when it's crimped. And yeah, the application is flatter. I like the brushes like that, but I don't know. It wasn't giving me and i didn't have this the tool around me so anyways um my camera shut off <laughs> like i say i'm tired of this iphone i need to look for a real camera now because i record with my my old phone and then yeah i can do that with a new phone because i don't want too much space on that but etc let's move on y'all so yeah once i figured out everything and <laughs> i was halfway to the application with the thumbnail i realized and then i started to record so all i'm doing is i'm just like um multiple 
be type of curl i'm not going to be like oh it's a method of one bead and then i apply perfectly or three bead no i go as much bead <laughs> i use as much bead as i can to apply my um acrylic and as you can see if i work on somebody else the acrylic will be a little bit more you know consistent but i like my my on my hands i like my acrylic to be running so yeah don't worry you can see that my acrylic is running because when i apply it i you know i have <laughs> i place my hand weirdly so it just flows down and yeah that's how i apply my applique uh, my acrylic so don't judge me <laughs> don't judge me in the comment and say why is she in yeah i just like my um my beads to be running when i apply on my hands so that's all i'm doing make sure the cuticle is flush as much as possible so i don't have to do too much filing so yeah because filing can be very annoying with acrylic and yeah sometimes i hurt myself when i'm drilling and with the nail drill and the file etc but anyways that's all i'm doing the application is pretty simple make sure you wipe your brush on one side um not too much so the acrylic don't be too dry and yeah so when you this acrylic actually is very nice it's silky like <laughs> i went all the uh once i finished the application without applying anything on it it didn't stain it was so pretty i didn't even want to file it but i had to <laughs> anyways so that's all i did and then yeah i keep on moving with the rest of the nail then we'll be ready to start you know the filing and the shaping and the design so i'm gonna let you watch that and i'll be right back
as you can see you can start your application either with the top of your nails you know like and then walk down to the cuticle part or you can start with the cuticle part and walk up to the nail <laughs> i don't know if i make sense but i did both to just show you but usually i walk from the top of the tip to the cuticle and then i apply too much around the cuticle like i say so i don't have to fight too much but i just wanted to show you and like i said yes it is runny <laughs> but that's not how i apply on somebody else that's only on my hands but yeah that's all i did So once I was done with the application of the black acrylic, noir, <laughs> aka noir, so I start to, you know, cover. I didn't need to do that, but I just wanted to because I saw that it wasn't perfect. It was, it wasn't bumpy, but I didn't, yeah. Anyways, I didn't want to leave it like that. So I just wanted to use the clear acrylic just to show you guys how good it is. And it was very good. It made the application look so flawless and like i told you see okay it was perfect so that's all i did and then we'll be you know filing and designing
once I was done with the application, we get ready to, you know, start the filing and buffing, etc. So all I'm doing right now is just seasoning my sanding band and my nail drill. It's called seasoning. Everybody does it. I hope so. But it helps you better when you um, you on the cuticle area if you're not using the cuticle bit, so you don't hurt yourself and you know cut yourself. I have a tendency by tendency of cutting myself when I do that so seasoning is very good for you but once I was done with it I start to file and buff with the nail drill I'm using the 180 grit because the rest of them kind of hurt me and the application wasn't you know bad it wasn't smooth but it wasn't bad so 180 grit sending band was perfect for this and filing and buffing and then using the nail file from my card also will be helping shipping and you know make it crisp so that's all i do after i was done with all that and clean wash my hands off camera etc you can see it's, be it's becoming a little <laughs> white so i had to go in and Put the matte top coat I just use any matte top coat but I actually should have used like the Rosaline I don't have any Macart matte top coat I don't know why maybe I should purchase <laughs> I'll be looking into that but anyways that's all I'm doing I'm just applying now so it'll be easy for me once I'm done with the design not to mess it up with the you know the coat because some part will be shiny so I have to put it now so everything can be mattified so we can have a clean base to start So for the nail heart, I'll be using the Nail Ellie Addict, now Nail Reserve um, Gel Polish. This green, kind of neon green, but it's not neon, was perfect for it because I'll be, you know, using that as a base, even though I'll be sprinkling some green um, glitter on it, but this color was perfect. So I mix it with the Rosaline Gel Polish also. So that Rosaline Gel Polish is a little bit shine, shiny in the, I mean, glow in the dark, <laughs> shiny in the dark. What? It glows in the dark a little bit so I use the Rosaline um, gel polish also like the pinkish color that I could find even though it was pretty close for what I did but I wanted the color to be a little bit more darker this time so I went ahead and mixed two colors so I start drawing the nose and I'm gonna let you just watch it because I don't know how to explain but I use a dotting pen so that's how easy it is to use you could use your liners um, the brushes to for the nail hard but I just wanted to use the dotting pen so I can show you that you don't have to be all fancy if you're doing it you know have all the material you can just do it with a dotting pen very easy nail hard you know beginner very very friendly So once we are done with the nose, we start with the eyes also, but this time I had to use, I couldn't use the dotting paint, so I had to use my nail art brushes. I used the liner one, and then I start to draw the um, the cat eye. I don't, I don't think this year was perfect, you guys, with the design, because last year my hands were working perfectly, and I didn't, <laughs> I wasn't diagnostic with my lupus yet, but this year I have tremors, so my lines are not very steady anymore, and with the glasses etc so that's all i did y'all the eyes uh, make sure i connect them even though it's not connected it's fine because you'll be covering it with all uh, sprinkle it with the glitter so it is fine but make sure you just you know outline perfectly so you can have a real good shape even though if it's not perfect but make sure you have a perfect seemingly looking like a cat eye so that's all i did then i fill it up you know inside the part of the eye with the green to make sure it's all green 
and then I'll be going with the liner, the black liner from Kusa, and then you know drawing in the little um <laughs> I don't know how you call it in French we say PP. So yeah, that's all I'm doing y'all. Once we are done with the uh, eyes and fill it up very nicely, we go with the whiskies. That's how you say it, right? Whiskies. <laughs> the mustache, the cat mustache, but yeah, I think it's whiskies. I think so. So yeah, I'm using the white liner to draw it, you know, even though it wasn't perfect on, cam on camera. I did it off camera, I took my time, but yeah, I just wanted to show you how to do it. It doesn't have to be perfect, like I said, because nail hard, you know. It takes practice and practice makes perfect so don't beat up yourself too hard if it doesn't come out you know flawless on the first time because mine will never be flawless regardless of how many times I try but yeah after all this is how it looks and yeah as you can see my cut look a little retard <laughs> sorry if, if I say like that but it look, it look a little bit you know <laughs> but yeah once I was done doing that I went ahead and you know sprinkled the glitters I used the glitters of uh, the white one for the, the whiskies and I used the green one for the eyes I went ahead and applied the top coat and then you know make sure I clean the black part of the eye the pupil and yeah because I, I didn't want to you know outline and all that it was too much trouble so I just put the, um, the top coat on all the nail then just clean the black area and then sprinkle and cure clean the excess and then voila and then I'll be repeating the same process with the whiskies in the nose I'll be using a pink um, glitter for the nose and then the white glitter for the, the whiskies so that's all I'm doing Once we were done with everything and we were nice and crisp, it was nice and crisp. I'm using this uh, sequence from Macart. I got that last year. They sent it to me when I was still a little better and you know promoting a little bit more. They sent it to me in the kit that in some charms it was absolutely adorable. So I still have them and I'm using you know I'm choosing the witch ones, the flying witches and just a pumpkin to you know to stay in the theme of the nail so that's all i'm doing i'm using my little technique you know they sell the lamp on amazon but ain't got time for that you know what i'm saying <laughs> but yeah like i show on tiktok like months and months ago that's how i've been doing it i'm just using my silicone pot top of the you know the stamper putting on the lamp on the top part of the lamp then press it against the charm so it can stick 
make sure you don't apply too much glue when you do that because yeah it will spill around and if it does like i'm doing you just clean it you can use a you know a cuticle pusher or something just to clean but make sure you don't apply too much because yes it will spill and then if you're using a shiny top coat is fine but if you're using a mat make sure it's clean all around so your application does look flawless that's all i did y'all and then <laughs> we were ready to go you know what i'm saying so the application was perfect and i wasn't satisfied with the design this year because i'm a little shaky and all that but i try i try so tell me how you like it in the comment y'all So here is the finished product you guys and like I said don't forget to use my code on mycard.com Nayeli nailed it that's my official brand ambassador code or you can use Queen Nayeli also that's for my other page so don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell and tell me in the comment how you like this set y'all I appreciate you for being here and don't forget I love you I love you and you are loved 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 I appreciate you for always being here I appreciate your support in your views and i see you in the next one y'all yeah. bye bye